Good afternoon and welcome back, fans of Gleck. Time Monster here, joined by Tiffin. Grace is no longer with us. She died. I'm joking. <laughs> um, that would be unfortunate. She, yeah, that would be very unfortunate. But no, she just left. She had to uh, do some personal things. And now we have Tiffin joining us from... Or not Tiffin. We have Tiffin University. Have Tiffin University. Yes. I'm, I'm J-Rob, J-Rob from Tiffin University. I'm on the JV roster. Yep. I'll be casting with... Uh, CSU Esports today. I'm yep. excited. We're yep. going to be covering ONU versus Tiffin. God, God. I, I, gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. All right. Uh, J Rob here with, from Tiffin University. Uh, Breeze is the map pick between Tiffin and Ohio Northern, so we will have some bias on the cast. I will do my best to keep it out of myself. You know, I'll, just for, just for uh, argument's sake, I'll be biased towards Ohio Northern for you. Yeah, that's all right. I'm looking forward to these comps, though, because, mm-hmm. again, I have experience playing with the Tiffin University roster. It is yep. They are super competitive, super talented, but I'm very interested because Tiffin University in the regular season did lose to ONU. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's super cool to see these comps, see how they work, see the adaptations from the regular season. Yep. It's especially because of patches and meta changes right now, oh, no. right? I mean, Cypher just got a huge buff. Oh, that's why he's been played a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, his trips no longer break from utility or people. Oh. If you hit them, they reactivate. Okay, so that that's a big buff. That explains oh, yeah. why he's being played a lot more. I, I saw uh, Mirror Cy- Cypher earlier. I was like, oh, that's strange. I wonder why they're doing that. But now, now yeah. that m- makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, Riot wanted to like increase the amount of playtime because Killjoy has been the primary sentinel on almost Oppressive. every single map. Oppressively dominant. Oh, absolutely. And they're trying, instead of bringing her power more down, they're trying to bring the other sentinels up. A little bit of power creep. A yep. little bit of power creep, a little bit of power creep. As Overwatch players, we're well aware of what power creep can do support. <laughs> I'm a tank player. How do you think I feel? I'm a tank player, too. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Fair enough. Now, what I'm interested in seeing is the Phoenix pick out of ONG, because Phoenix flashes are more of an arc, Yeah. so they can't go more long distance, and Breeze is a very spread out map. Yeah, so they're going to have to be playing a little bit more for, for the close range sort of plays. I'm expect. I'm on that note, I'm probably expecting a few Phantoms more than usual to be purchased on this one. The Phantom, Vandal, it's weird. Phantom, no bolt, no bolt tracer, so it's hard to spray through smokes to know where people are. Uh, has more ammo, but can't one tap. Vandal is, are known for that 160, just one tap. Yep. Consistency at any range is Kyle. A little bit of little bit of chip. Just the go- not the ghost, just the classic, so not a lot of damage, just some pressure. Yeah, first contact has been taken. Good chip damage onto Tiffin. Just slowing things down a little bit here. No more toxic screen. There's also no poison cloud, so no smoke. It's probably play a speed main. Ooh, yeah, probably. And that's the first hit. Kyle taking down Zeptic. Good kill, Lung Collapser. <laughs> nice name, I gotta admit. Going in for this little bit of a We flank. got some interesting Tiffin names. That's yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, all on the CSU <laughs> League of Legends team, we have His Beard's Weird, so that's a that's a name and a half. <laughs> but this duel between the Jets is going to be important. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, completely missed that. Flames might have missed it as well, and Lung Collapser gets the kill. And our Cypher is pushed up towards Double Doors. He may have a free ASI bringing everyone over, but yeah. I don't think anyone expects the uh, Phoenix being tucked in. But going through Double Doors, this is another really important duel. Damage. Just a little bit. Johnson's not going to be able to pick up the kill, and Saf's going to look to try and rotate a little bit potentially. No one. But this backstab is huge. I don't know if anyone knows he's there. Empit, Empit, I believe is the name. Looking to control a little bit of space. The spike has been planted. And it's Han Solo. Solo gets the kill as well as Johnson. It's looking like ONU might be faltering a little bit to TU. Oh, and there's the flank. He's not getting anything out of it. And it's Kyle in a 1v3. He had to ace because he got the first yep. two kills. This is going to be very hard. And Tiffin does take the pistol around. Looked a little looked a little scary. Took a lot of damage. Got the first kill. But the duel of the Jets just going in Tiffin's favor, bringing everyone over to A. Big fan of that rotate as well. Oh, like, yeah. That was so well-timed, so well-played. They didn't hesitate. They didn't stagger. They didn't stutter. They just were like, you know what? Screw it. We're going A. <laughs> or, and like it was just a very well played rotate. Um, Ohio Northern obviously very likely to lose this round. It's a bonus round. But Most can't. likely, but these sheriffs can do a lot of damage. I'm they can. I'm excited to see what's the money look like next round because I see a lot of sheriffs by. They could only yeah. going half armor vandal or rifle in this case. That's probably I think what will be happening in this next round. Kyle's playing way up and Ooh, gets goes punished. down. Doesn't doesn't do any damage either. Another kill from yeah. one collapser. 
and that's probably a free B site. The Cypher is pushed up, so he could get a kill on the, on the Viper. Pistol out. No, Vandal's too strong. Yeah. Gets the, gets the shot. And this duel between the Jet and the Phoenix, he just saw him. Yep. Got this. This Marshall can one shot. It's very, very powerful on, on pistols. A lot more dangerous than a classic ever could dream of. Flames is the Sheriff. Tailwind to dodge. But can't hit yeah. the shots. Lung Collapser's got the crosshair a little bit better. And he knows exactly. And the right click not going in the favor. Another flawless round. That's huge. We didn't drop any guns from side of Tiffin. Their economy is going to be looking quite pristine after that one. But yeah, like you said, light shields almost entirely for o Ohio Northern. Yeah. Full Vandal buy. I think that's pretty expected. Um, yeah, and long range, you'd expect more long range fights, so you want the Vandal for the one tap. But yep, yep. I don't doubt the Bulldogs, the Marshall one shot. The, we have a Vandal of our own, so Tiffin could be very deadly, especially, as you said, against these half armors. Yeah. I mean, the biggest thing that I can think of, aside from like, or not the biggest thing, but one thing that I think is notable is the Marshall body shot brings them quite low. Lower First than contact taken, he saw two, I think. Yeah, they're playing this real aggressive. The Owl Drone going to be Coming used. Out. Flashing through the smoke, that's a huge flash. Ooh, oh, flames taking you. down. Flames! Ooh, almost goes down, but that's huge damage no matter what. And Tiffin looking pretty healthy. Flames does get, get a no kill way. on Johnson. You miss the bullets, and Flames punishes. That's the wall bank to take that's him a down. Trade. That's right that, I think that's favor Tiffin, because that's a Vandal recovery. Yeah, a slight favor, but a favor nonetheless. And they'll get the plant, which makes it even better. So yeah, get more money. That, even if they lose that round, a little bit better, a little bit more money in your pocket, a little bit of a thicker wallet, some may say. It's yeah. half, I'd, like to angle. I'd like to see uh, Owen you spread out a little bit more and like take it from double doors. I like the door opening in halls, but like good flash, oh. trade it out. But again, I think it's just in the favor of Tiff, and that's huge damage on the Cypher. And, a, and another fight on the side. You got two low on you. The Blaze is forced. Right now with two. Blaze is forced to get through that toxic uh, screen. Ooh, but secrets. secrets. The best kept secrets are the ones in your face, it seems. The All right. Damage. No defuse, but can he get this last kill? He will. Four kills it, for secrets. It doesn't matter. I think he tied the spike. Yeah, but it'll still be good for Econ. Okay. Ooh. He gets out of life, but... Tiffin won their bonus. That's huge. They dropped so many guns, broke all the armor. That is yeah. absolutely massive. That is massive. Secrets will be able to keep that Vandal online. And also, they'll have the only ultimate on the field is going to be that neural network. Uh, neural theft. Neural theft, sorry. Yes. Uh, very power, a very strong ultimate, uh, being able to know where everyone is for rotates and all that. So I'd like to see how he uses it. Ooh, kill trips. I love those. Yep. <laughs> I'm a cypher guy. I love I love oh, yeah. those skill trips. Well, gotta love them. I got it. Like... Tiffin is favored for this round. Let's see if he can go for a 4 0 right now. This would be huge for Tiffin. The buy is starting to come through a little bit potentially, but yeah, it's a huge, huge favor. Saf thinking about where he wants to rotate to. Johnson taking immediate aggression into his elbow. Cage triggered. Cage triggered. It's a cyber trick cage. Gonna Ooh, lock doesn't out. know the Phoenix is on his right. He could go for a backstab. Ooh, does get taken down by the Vandal, and that's a re that's a, and that's the kill from the Narrow Theft. Yeah. This Phoenix can now grab that Vandal and be even more deadly with it. That's that's a little bit of a uh, unorthodox play, I'd say. Ohio Northern now do have that advantage. They can just sit on their laurels and wait for Tiffin to make a poor decision here. The I think spike. Tiffin just needs to play for picks. Yeah, the spike's moving over to A, so. They're going to be able to take a 3v2 there unless a rotate comes through. I'm intrigued from this Viper wall. I, From the side of ONU, it's cutting into yeah. A main so they can take space. But I feel like, yeah, Tiffin just walking up, so it feels sort of... It's almost more like a toxic screen for damage than for vision control. That or post plant. Yeah. Like, oh, Lord, that big. Kyle's been removed, and it's all of a sudden evened up. It's a press on the flames. Can't tell wind out of this one. Ooh, and I don't know if anyone knows that Lung Cluster has pushed up. They have no idea. Ooh, doesn't get the spray, but Double it... Double trade back! I, I, again, this is a little dangerous. Both have Vandals, so they're both very deadly. The hot First hand. First trade in Zapdick. Zapdick's been very, very strong. The hot hand will force the positioning there from the KO, but there it goes. Zapdick's down. All right, Bretta, let's see you clutchless. You've not been known for it, but he has those lines most likely. I mean, he's going to just try to stick, stick, but it's the stick halfway. Nice shot from Bruno. Yep. 
Peek's a little bit too wide. You're popping off there a little bit yourself. But. Hey, I mean, I love going 4-0. 4-0 mm. up immediately. That's a good start. It gets all the momentum. And the ultimates on the side of Tiffin are just going to be banking them. Yep. Overwhelming <laughs> ultimate advantage now. Secrets did use that Neural Theft earlier. And now all they have is the run it back. Compared yep. to the Blade Storm, the Viper Pit, and the, the their own Neural Theft of Tiffin. Yeah, the run it back is very strong. I don't think you can take that much space. Again, this map is so spread out. It's so easy just to, like to use it and then die. There's gonna be an op war as well between the two jets. Yeah, both jets being posted up around mid, hoping for someone to get aggressive. Looking like I think Septic might be the victim. Yeah, it looks like the ONU jet is going looking towards elbow. Get out of my way. Oh, blaze storm on the side of Tiffin. That's very deadly with the operator, so I'm not oh, yeah. too disappointed. And like, if we can just keep securing more rounds as Tiffin, yeah, it can just snowball. Yeah, I'm just shocked to see it pop when it did, and realistically, where it did. There's very little action happening. A minute left. Yeah, I mean, it's free knives at least. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like you, you. It's not like you lose them. Yeah, that is true. You just lose them if you miss. Yeah, or if the round ends. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, looks like the spike is going towards A, and you see that Viper all placed again. I have to call it into question. I don't know. I, I think the Viper will be more useful cutting off mid. That's a that's a really good uh, K wall getting into sight. The Viper is tucked on the side of Owen use. He could get a backstab kill. This could be big. She's not quite close to the Viper pit. A kill and a death, though, will get her one away. This peak. An old star. Ooh, the spike's pressure, she gets two! That's that's really big that gets two there. And flames with the operator. There comes the run-up back, as you said before. It's invested Ooh. in a round that's already likely theirs. Uncollapser has the blade storm, gonna try to find the heads, but all they find is their own demise, as it's two operators in control for Ohio Northern in the next round. I don't see them picking up the other operator, because there's not one there's not two characters I see on the one you that can really use it that effectively. But a really nice retake from ONU. Uh, sh the Viper is sticking into that corner, not knowing that they where uh, Tiffin was, just swinging out, getting two off of the original, sort of whiffing a little bit, but hey, if you're able to secure the kill, get it. Yeah. I mean, now the economy for Tiffin, surprisingly shallow, given how well they've been playing so far. They were four and zero. The amount of deaths they've been giving away in earlier so. rounds is now starting to bite that's, them a bit. That's the big thing, is that we've been winning the rounds, but because we've been losing so many players, we kind of are losing the guns, but... Mm -hmm. Still very deadly, the Guardian, two Vandals, like, we could... Tipping could still clinch this. Nice little lineup. Flames immediately takes out Lung Collapser. Yeah, with the op. That might have been, that might have been uh, peaking before the Vipers uh, orb gets thrown. Exchange of drones. Exchange of drones. Viper got shot. I think that was from yeah, the Marshall. Yeah, because I went. Oh. Yes, I believe so. Eh, a little bit more, a little bit less damage. I think it might have been like a Vand or a Guardian. Guardian. Yep. Guardian. Yep. yep. All right. Very deadly. Very deadly it, gun. <laughs> Sixty-five body. Day. Sixty-five damage to the body, I believe. Yep. And then one tap on the head, of course. Oh yeah. High pen high penetration too, so you can just wall bang. Yeah. The Viper with the Viper's Pit, creatively named Ultimate. That's fair side. enough. <laughs> I, I I like how Tiffin's playing a little bit more slow. Looks like they are going one towards B. Good wire kills. My eyes are down. Secrets, if you can get one, this is big. Oh, Ooh, it doesn't. And that, again, that's the gun down. Yeah. There's the Viper's Pit out of the side of Han Solo, but he's very low. Could go down to shock darts. If he's not, not careful. I'm not too shocked that they invested the Viper's Pit. Sorry I had to do it there. But Here. there's still going to be an opportunity I'm to I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and like you said, if they could just get a single shock dart, or even a single bullet, I think even a single classic bullet will be enough to take down the Viper. There, it, there is. it goes! Viper Pit down. Oh, and you can mean touch with their own. Will the kills oh, connect? That's they do! It's Tiffin goes back. Three versus two. Oh, even These back trades up. are going oh, back and forth. I don't know who, who's up. It favors Tiffin. They had the plant out. Kyle defuse. She needs to kill the planner. The spam's not coming through. It's just Johnson. They're very low. Like this could be. Oh no! Oh no! Oh lord! That's still. He has, not a doesn't have time. Doesn't have time. No. Nope. Huge. A clutch, clutch from Tiffin. I like. I saw the viper spinning while she was defusing. <laughs> very t uh, common tactic to uh, you see in your ranked games to make yeah. sure you can miss the shots, but. Very close, very close. Like, this is what we like to see. Again, 
the money is very low on both sides because mm. each time everyone is dying or like one person lives. And that round, as 10 people die, is a bit of an economic reset, but it favors Tiffin here. Not enough for Flames or Kyle to get a good enough gun. The Sheriff with no armor is going to be used here for Kyle. That is a very greedy buy. Yeah, and I see them jump picking A. I don't want them to use the Viper's Pit, because again, if you're that low with the Viper's Pit, uh, it's very easy to spam you out. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah. Blade Storm used. Flames wants to get the kills. It's one, it's, it's two. two. It's an art form, and he's got the canvas ready and willing. Trade it out, but Zeppelin goes down. Brennan gets another one. These trades are are lightning. I this fight, this fight mid is huge. I gotta say, this probably favors Ohio Northern. After the knife is out. The knife is out. Brendan. Ooh, Brennan goes down, but he has lots of damage on the secret. The headshot damage that the Vandal does being so pivotal there. Curveball not quite flashing out Han Solo. Yeah, five bullets. Okay, does go for the reload. Oh. Huge. Does it, does it, he's there. Oh, the timing. Beautiful. Didn't know the Cypher was pushed up there as well. 30 HP, one bolt would have done it, but Owen Yu clinches it in the end. Yep. The second round win for Ohio Northern. Again, so many people are dying. It, it's always more than five deaths per round every single time, which you know oh, yeah. sometimes is expected, but it's been three, four deaths on the winning team pretty consistently. Oh, yeah. Another operator will be purchased this time. Flames is the only one who will have it. This money on Tiffin is actually, like, broken. They need to go, go for more picks now. Mm -hmm. I would not like to see very many ults come out on the side of ONU because they're on this, like, really light buy. Maybe a narrow theft could be useful because it's only, it's only six ult, uh, ult orbs or kills yep. to get it, but I don't want to see very many ults used on the side of ONU. However, this Sova ult could be used to try to give him a kill. Yeah. I mean, not only is it a quick ult to build, he's also doing a lot of damage. He's also getting oh, no a lot joke. of these kills. So yeah. he can build another one quick. That's the op. We now, we now know the op is in two. We don't want to be dry swinging that. And they Let's go down. It's a sheriff in the rear. That's a traded out, but I... Sheriff, operator. Yeah, which one's better? <laughs> you decide. Sheriff, operator. I'd take the uh, sheriff in the... I can't aim, so I'd go with, um... I'll probably play Paladins instead. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> hey, I'm a Reinhardt man, so I, 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 can't, I can't blame him, man. Yeah, the trip is there that's going to stop the Zeptic, but I love I love the everyone slowing down, not knowing where everything is. Contact was taken. Looks like Tiffin is going for an A hit. I was expecting Secrets to actually invest the Neural Theft, but he's not going to have the opportunity because of the silence. Now that it fades, you might not even want to. Saf gets one. And now, know. it's a suffocating amount of pressure, one player remaining, and it's just an operator, it's taken down. Or, not an operator, but a marshal. So because the spike was not planned, that Tiffin's not going to get the extra money, so their money is still fairly broken. Luckily, I do, you do see enough to buy full armor just besides Bruno. And you know, full armor some is not really even that necessary, right? Not too much if you're running Vandals, but it is very important if you're running fa against Phantoms. It is Breeze, though. So if there's any map in the game, you're gonna get away from uh, with not going heavy shields. That's I fair. I think it's Breeze. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next round. This is where the ultimates are gonna come out because Owen has four, Tiffin has three. Viper's pit, Viper's pit for A. a. Yep. Tiffin very much favoring just like playing more. Oh, I was gonna say playing more slowly, but that's an immediately pick a Johnson. This is Ohio Northern showing why they're the two-time champions, as you have said bef before yeah. the stream. This is very, like, very dangerous. Like, the operator is very strong. Oh, Run it back. Be being invested. Hot hand. Just going to distract. And that's a fair enough trade for the, for the, uh, for the Phoenix there. And gets another one. Hot hand does come back and gets the healing. This might just be, like, a very early save round for Tiffin. Looking like it. They're already going to give a lot of space. I mean, they kind of have to, unless they, unless they get this kill on the Cypher, they may be able to go B. I kind of just want Tiffin to play, like, slow for fix. There we go. There it is. You ask, you receive. The Null Command is ready for Zeptic if they want to make some kind of move. I'm nervous. I, I, would, I, don't want them, I don't want to see him use it here. Any more kills would be great. Any more picks. Damage would be amazing. I don't want them to in invest, especially because they have nothing to force off this Operator. Mm -hmm. Just like yeah. that. Oh, that would have been a lovely shot if that one hit, but that was... Alright, Zeptic, it's your time to shine. Let's hit the spike. He clutches the ace. Oh, oh, my gosh! This could be an ace! 
He gets the he gets the He could not even this It's just one Kyle Seven bots don't know where he is Kyle no didn't know where he was But that's huge outside of Zep they get four They lined oh, up you That you was so planted? close You know where he planted Kevin? Or Kyle? This ain't CS2 Kyle Oh, he, I, he's looking for the operator. They, he has plenty of time. Okay. You have like 40 seconds to yeah. get to the fuse, so you got plenty of time. Yeah, I, I, I was getting a little bit nervous, but... If you see a ring around the bomb, it means you don't have enough time. But he's got plenty. But very scary out of, uh, out of Zepic right there. He, If he knew where that Viper was, he might have been able to clutch that. Yeah. Probably would have as well. Like, not even just like a maybe, it's an almost definite yes. Oh, yeah. With, like, honestly, being a 4v2, or actually 4v, 4v5, I think it was, being able to go down into a 1v1, that is a pretty pretty good clutch uh, genes out of Tiffin. Yeah. I mean, Zeptic, that's a good one to, to do. Yeah. I want to try to force buy the Vandal here. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that decision. Uh, I think he might be good for it, because it looks like they're going for a very heavy B. B is very open. And it has this null command that shoots faster, so this could be a variable like read out of Tiff. And if they go fast enough, they can catch the Viper and the uh, Cipher off off guard. And as I said, said they were going in. They want to play in the range of these Stingers. These Stingers are very powerful at close range. Does and a lot of damage, but not quite as much as a one tap. Johnson's getting hit with his own teammate's Hunter's Fury, which gets him low enough for Kyle. He gets two. Han Solo will trade it out with the Stinger. And now, Ohio Northern, they have a little bit of pressure to recontest into this one. With no ultimates, the Hunter's Fury was used. Pokemon does come out of the side of Tiffin. Yep. Flash. Flames with yeah, two. Yeah, they're just being collapsed upon, though. Flames with 2.5 with the, with the, uh, the, 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 the KO twice. <laughs> Is what I'll give them. All right. So from very early dominance from Tiffin, you see O and U bouncing back and taking the yep. four rounds in a row, going for five to five. This could be a very like a seven five six six half. You never know. Yeah, I mean, and that's what economy, like control over an economy, can really do for you, right? Yeah. Like Tiffin now have to, like if they just kind of saw force of buy, now they really have to force a buy. The operators online for lung collapser, mm -hmm. but with the light shields, right? They will have a phantom. They'll have two vandals. Three Vandals, rather. And no, they opt out of the Operator. Opting an attack is kind of hard. You're it peeking into the angles of the opponent op. Yeah. And the defense op most of the time has the advantage. Yeah. I will say, though, like, Tiffin has to win this round because if they don't, they are absolutely broke for this next round. Yep. And then they'll be disadvantaged in the half, and then it can only get worse from there. Because that'll be what? If they lose this round 5 7 at the very, or 7 5 at the very best for Tiff Tiffin? Yeah. Ooh. We're going back towards A, but this is where the operator is. This could be a really huge kill. You start. Good crouch peak. Just not. Give not him a haircut, though. He did give him a haircut. <laughs> That's a little scary, but we know the operator is here. Oh, this could be another one. Yep. Hope he didn't like your nose, Zeptic, because it's damage. been removed. Damage, but no confirmed kill. Curveball used. He might not, not be able to follow up. It's Flames who gets Johnson, but the kills flow through. These are. These, these fights are going back and forth. It's a f at the end, the entire thing, it's a 3v2. Viper's Pit as well. Ooh. For Ooh, Tiffin. Spam. I thought the they have so much utility to spam this Viper out of the Viper's Pit. He's not super low, though. So. No, he, he can take some fights, and everyone gets so decayed from this. The Silver Drone will be huge, though. I think, I think they might be looking for a Blade Storm, potentially, for Flames. I mean, he's holding very close. Might, but like the Operator is a little hard to retake on. Oh. Big shot from Breno, but the Han Solo does go down. No more fight, Breno. Breno, Breno uh, is playing for the ult. He knows where the plant is. So that means he gets the free kill with the Hunter's Fury. So he it's half. Oh, no, it's half. I don't think he knows it's half. I don't think he knows that it's going to nope. stick. Yeah, it does get, does get it away. Hunter's Fury finds just a bit of damage. It'll force him to buy shields, but nothing more. Yeah, just 80 damage, 80 damage. But because that Viper stuck it for so long, she halved it, giving the other person the opportunity because Breno did shoot yep. two bolts. So, it's a little scary, as I said before, but Tiffin does look like they can buy up, so this round is the decider yep. for this half. All the kills that came through in the plant as well gave them that little bit of an edge in the economy for this last round in this half, as you said. Still had to fight into the operator, but Ohio Northern really fought back on this half. Yes. I mean, early round, it seems like Ohio Northern weren't favoring that operator, but once you put uh, the flames on that op, he's been doing absolutely amazing work with it. I mean... I don't think there's been a round where he hasn't gotten maybe one, maybe two kills. Like, yeah. his value with this operator has been absolutely massive for Owen Neal. 
It's going to be Flames staring down this choke point. It's a really good angle. Really good angle. So dangerous. So dangerous. Tiffin favoring mid control, like cutting noise. Hoping to catch rotators out. They have a little bit of space on A as well with that cipher lurking. Just it does. I, his cam seems to be for mid. Mm. Cypher can really be two places at once, once at times. Yeah, you see the side of Tiffin not wanting to commit the Viper Wall to show where they're at because if you... Oh, there, as I said, there's the Viper Wall. It's an ambiguous one a little bit. Yeah, Flames, again, being this pivotal opper. Can't push into that. Zeptic's traded. Down. It's traded, so it could go big. Johnson. Jumping on the Viper. Heroic plays from Johnson Gunk. And there's a narrow theft. That's actually huge. Everyone, Tiffin knows where, exactly where everyone is. That's a huge side. Tiffin has lost a 4v3 before, so we make, gotta make sure we can play this right and play this tight. They still do have the Blade Storm as well, so worst comes to worst, you can pop that and try to make a clutch. Hot hands, hot hands for the corner. Didn't quite make it, so didn't know the one's there. Blaze to match it. And there it is, Toxic as well. That's Cypher for Cypher, that's a lot of good damage. Everyone is so low. It's just consistent trades, it's just the Phoenix that he's taken down. Tiffin for the 6-6 six, six half. A good half for both teams, realistically. Oh yeah, good turnaround for Tiffin. Like again, going down to the opera, but like, as you said, our cipher being a main, being able to punish that, and then just trades going in our favor for a four v three post plant, and Tiffin just not ever peeking, playing it safe, playing know where they are, and just trading effectively. Yeah, it's realistically, I think this pistol round probably the most important round in oh, yeah. this map right now. Like you win the, the pistol, you win the next. Most yeah, likely. You, not only that, but like. The first pistol was fairly important, but I don't feel like it was that determinant of the of the round. It ended up being a 6-6 half, and despite the fact that the pistol went the way of Tiffin, now yeah. this pistol, not only does it win the economy war a little bit, it also wins that mental war that people don't talk about as much, <laughs> but it's so important. If either one of these teams gets a big edge on the mental with those two round wins, or worst case scenario, if somebody loses a bonus round, that is where I mean, things yeah, snowball. I mean, yeah, you saw, uh, but... If you're, as you said, the mental game, but ONU showing great mental, they lost four rounds in a row right off the start, yeah. but not letting that get in their heads, not letting that affect them. Coming back and making it 6-6 six, six is huge. They have winning six of the next seven rounds after that, so that really shows the mental resilience at hand. And collapse with the Sheriff. All right, this is going to be a pure 5v5 retake. You don't see these very often. They did give up that plant pretty freely, though, as you say, and it's... Oh, we need Zeptic. to get the first kill. Yep, Zeptic punished first. Ohio Northern feeling good, good feeling flash. strong. It's the Phoenix Very with three. Flash. They cleave on forward. And now hit. Tiffin have to make a miracle happen if they want to get this defuse. Yeah, as long as they don't overpeak. Because Viper's low, Jet's a little tagged. Like, as, as long as no one overpeaks. Oh, oh. oh Breno! Breno's um, alive. And that's the Viper. Work. That's the force. Saf! Oh, uh -oh. almost chokes a little bit. Do you know he's ticking? Do you know he's ticking? He got to realize that he goes in for it. He Ooh, gets the kill. He gets health. the shot. He got it half. So I think he wanted to uh, get off when he was half. But like mm. from a 2v4 to a 1v1 again, that's absolutely huge from Tiffin. Yeah. Right now getting three, I think it was. And that's going to make Ohio Northern invest more into their bonus round than they might want because of the threat of the economy that Tiffin did manage to build up. They have to go for a Guardian. They have to go for, you know, the Stinger. They have to go for... A little bit more of an investment on the bonus round than right possibly would have wanted. Absolutely. One thing I want to see Tiffin do is do what Owen you did to us. Yeah. Get an op into Lung Collapse's hands. Yeah. I see him buying the Marshall. The Marshall's basically an operator, but like, still, an op is an op. What's like a mini version of it? What's operator? Um, handler. It's a handler. <laughs> There we go. So it looks like the Cypher to take, take some early contact. You saw, I think, one, maybe two. Tiffin favoring this mid control. Yeah. It's just gonna be played slow here for Tiffin. They yeah, wanna... Tiffin playing back. Yeah. Owen oh, just just doesn't want to overpeak. Give any guns to Tiffin because they know if we're giving free guns, we will try to use it and we will try to kill. Yep. Toxic screen will be dropping for Han Solo. They're gonna be able to push onto site using the defending toxic screen. Actually, as I said before, that's a gun down. Yep. Sap and flames though, following up. Trades. Oh, Tiffin's up. Tiffin's favored now, right now. The damage was enough. Spectre in the hands of Kyle, but he can't oh, get his no. crosshair where it needs. Guardian is now the last threat, and it's the biggest one by far. The stick, not committed. Just gonna be a lot of tap. The flash is huge. And pretends. Oh, uh, this. 
It's all the pressure on him now. No stick still. He's still pressuring the spike. It's a classic right clicks. It's going to be another one. Two there. Three for the round. That's not a bad round for Shiffrim, though. Dropping four guns. But you see the Phoenix already having his ultimate. That is huge. He can yeah. just go right in and have no fear of dying. Breno's quite close to the ult as well. Like, that's probably the next ultimate that we're looking at to come online. Yes. Neither Cypher is especially close. Two out of six on each. Meanwhile, six out of eight for the for the Sova. The Hunter's Fury being uh, built that early and being able to be used that early, cycling that ultimate a couple of times in an, a single half, that's pretty impactful, yeah. but... Absolutely. Two rounds went the way of Ohio Northern, ultimately. This is a, this is almost a must-win round for Tiffin right now. This this will... If Tiffin loses this round, they go 9-6. They almost guarantee 10-6. Ten, yep. Yeah, 10-6. So this is very important for Tiffin to win. Joke's over. You're dead. There's a run it back. I there's the run it back. Does, get, does it brought out? But honestly, Lung Collapse are oh. catching out the oh. mid player. Let's, and the kill trips. Oh. Mm. It's Love beautiful. those. The Cypher buffs, I don't even know if they were relevant for that one, but they definitely helped out a little bit. That pretends with the Guardian is still a threat, and so is Flames. The this Vandal is dangerous. finds its mark. Will Han Solo be able to survive? The moment! Timing. The exact moment Han Solo peaks! That's it's now timing. just Epitens with the spike. He's rotating over to A. Yeah, he'll get the, he'll get the spike down, get the three extra, three extra, 300 extra credits for his team. But again, any damage right now is huge for ONU. It's still a winnable... Round. Epitens is going to play in a way that may not be predictable. A little bit cheeky of a performance. Yeah, playing around boxed. I, I like Tiffin grouping together because this is where they want to trade. Going for a high low. He, he, the Phoenix hears him. They clear. They don't clear! Okay. Oh. Got a little scary. If he, did, if he transferred up, he might have been able to save it. Honestly, dude, if I'm playing there as Epitens, I let them walk in. I let them walk in, think they're safe. If they don't, if they don't, if they clear me, I'm dead, right? If they don't clear me, and I shoot immediately, I get one. I can risk it to play for two. If they don't clear me and and I don't shoot, I might be able to get them both. I see it both ways because he's guaranteeing economy damage. Yeah. Look at look at the look at the money for Tiffin, and you'll see like oh absolutely nothing being able to be bought besides that one phantom that they brought in from the last round. Yeah. So this is like this round definitely favors Owen Yu. I'm also just a very greedy player, and I like to make those kind of plays where I outsmart my opponents rather than out-aim them. Yeah. I mean, you see a lot of sheriffs. Sheriffs can one-tap, but it's very dangerous. Yep. Not as consistent as the Vandal is. Not only from spread, but also from range. Flames gets tagged, but I don't think anyone... What? Oh, I don't even know how that happened. Oh, wait, what? No way. Uh, that's a fair trade. That's a huge trade, but the, the Phantom on the side of Tiffin does go down. Dropping two guns isn't terrible. It's good, actually. It's very good, especially yeah. if you can manage to pick up that Phantom. Flames is here. I told you, the side of when you lost their Viper, they can't put up a wall. Yeah. That's so much pressure. Flames. Those two people on his right. Kind yeah, of this trade. If if Flames swings doors, he will be. Tra he hopefully will be traded. Hopefully, hopefully for somebody in this room. <laughs> they're both oh, back no, to back on right each close. other. Close. They're right there. Oh no. If anybody decided to wall bang at a random moment, it's gonna be a kill. That's going to be that a huge that's a huge that's huge. Yep, now you know. Oh no, they're we're taking away from Doris, so we're changing our positioning. Now Yeah, Flames has a backstab now. If we're not prepared. It looks like they're thinking about it though. They don't Joke's wanna There's the runner back. Good KO, player. good KO to stall. And Flames the, the backstab! That's, that's what I was talking about, the backstab. The, the run it back opens up so much space and they don't even drop a player. It effectively makes it a 4v4, just one of those plays is going to be a little bit delayed. And now Tiffin, yeah, that, they need to re-push. He hears the drop. Oh, oh. Shooting the dart. Saw the jet through the through the uh, Phoenix wall, whatever it's called. The blaze. Sure. <laughs> All right, this is a this is a three v two and gun advantage for the side of ONU. This is going to be very very dangerous. Flash, Flash. On the top, yep. Flames, hot hands, yeah. So. Very cleanly done. Very cleanly done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that backstab on the side of Flames was absolutely massive. It's not just the backstab; it's the way that Epiton set him up with the run it back. That is the part that impressed me the most. The fact oh, yeah. that they communicated that so well in the heat of the moment and managed to execute so well. They dropped two players. They still get effectively their full buy. And Tiffin will be able to new to match, but... This is where Tiffin needs to use their ultimates here. Like, this is where you see almost a Viper's Pit. 
get a kill. I'd like to see the Neural Theft come out. Like, mm -hmm. Tiffin needs to get the momentum back in their favor. Yeah, desperately at this point. The lead is starting to run away with Ohio Northern. If they win this round, it might just end up at 11 to 7. Reversing of a gas station, <laughs> but very good for Ohio Northern if they can manage. Columbus Collapser did push up to elbow, so he does have a pretty good offing. Tailwind is offline. Yep. Updraft isn't going to do a whole lot of work for you when you get a roof over your head like that. Both teams favoring this mid control. I don't see people pushing halls very often anymore since the new map changes. I'm really interested to see this new Here. Viper wall. Here. Flames is... This is a cheeky move if he, d if he decides to pull this out. Viper... The drone does come out. This could be big. This could be big. Oh! oh the reaction speed's better from Secrets. He knows And the Neural Theft, yep. I don't think anybody can get onto that ultimate where it's sitting, so no, they just have to that, deal with that it. That narrow thought is absolutely massive, just not suppressing knowing where everyone is. Yeah, Spike is going over towards that B site. Bruno does have a timing. Good Viper's uh, snake Molly. Bite. Yeah, snake bite. Good snake bite to get get him off. Yeah, Tra these fights are just going in the side of the side of oh. Tiffin. Or side of Onyu. It's still winnable for Tiffin though. Ohio Northern do have 4-2, but we've seen them get close to losing these before. If the yeah, Zeptic has, been on, Zeptic has been winning a lot of these fights and a lot of these duels, but I kind of want to see Tiffin save the save the guns. Oh, on Solo, he's getting this little bit of an aggro play. The snake bite to force positioning, but he's just not going to move. The yeah, call the is too much. Down. No guns, and that's 10-7. Yep. to seven. Likely 11-7 to seven for Ohio Northern. Most and likely. It's something you said before. If we get into this next map... Ohio Northern are heavily favored. I see that. Didn't you, is that what you said, or am I mistaken? Or is that what uh, was said? They are pretty good on Haven, I believe, from their previous games. But, yeah, I mean, just being able to, like, again, you said the mental, being able to come back from, again, going down 4-0 and just coming back and being ten now up 10-7 is absolutely massive. It's that mental resilience. You've lost three of the past 13 rounds as Ohio Northern. I can keep throwing statistics like that out all day, but all you need to know is Ohio Northern are looking very strong and very Absolutely. good. Absolutely. A gamble stack out from Tiffin on the side of A, but looks like ONU is reading this. They're going towards the side of B. So it looks like it may be a 5 5 retake. Oh, Never Kyle! Know. He actually built the Viper's Pit with that. I don't want to see music here because they're on a save. Tiffin's on a save, so I don't think it's very useful. But using it for the next round could be really big. Yeah. Especially if something happens. Like, Kyle, Kyle no longer... Like, I mean, I say no longer, but has realistically no pressure to do anything other than hold safe angles because you have that ult. You don't need to get kills to build up the nope. next ult. You don't want to die even more yeah, so now. Because I want to see Owen you play more back because mm -hmm. don't drop any guns. I, uh, I mean, they have the money to rebuy, but don't even take the chance because Tiffin has great aimers. Like, yeah. if you give him the chance, if you saw Zepic earlier, you've seen it a lot where Tiffin will take the gun and will shoot, shoot back. Yeah. Can't give an inch. So they will be taking that mile. There goes. The Good utility coming screen. out inside of Tiffin. Saf opens it up. Yep. Ohio Northern not wanting to invest any ultimates. The spike is ticking away. As the players from Tiffin fall, and it's without a flaw. Yep. Is Ohio Northern. Yeah, just Tiffin one jumping guns. Unfortunately, it is a flawless round for ONU, so this is like. Unfortunately. And there it is. Lone Collapser getting that off into his hands. This, this is it, basically. The yep. money's going to be absolutely broken next round if Tiffin loses this. Yep. The highest number for Tiffin right now is 300. That is the most anybody has for this next oh, round, the nice. operator. We're on a loss bonus, so we'll get 29, each, each person will get 2,900, plus 200 for any kills. So we could, like, force up this next round, but even then, it's very close. Yeah. That's all up to the op. If he can find his Ooh, mark. Ooh, good dart. Good dart scouts a lot, but... Again, it's all up to the operator. There's so much yeah, pressure. Yeah, this op. Let's see what let's see what Valley can lump collapse can get. Can you do the same thing Flames did? We'll have to find out. Flames dashes on the point with a tailwind and just trade it out. Yep, staff with two, and now they have sight control. Yep. On Solo Burger in the back. He's got it out. Hunter's fury on both sides. Bredo gets the better of it, and gets another damage. Yeah. That's that's the that's the damage under the planter, I believe. This could be important. Two v two. Big goal, but being held. We know we know the cipher's mid. Could cage get cross? 
I mean, this is so good because... We need to isolate this fight. Kyle's a little weak, but with the Neural Theft, you might be able to spam him out, and there you go, Kyle down. It's only one player Hold left. Hold it. Oh, no. Just if, secrets. If, and he ran away. Okay, I think he got it. I think they're sticking. Yep. yep. And drops the gun. Good. Good job, Tiffin. And I think the op can be repossessed. Yes, it does. Just in time as well. Op didn't get too much value, but... I mean, it's still the threat of it being there. Yeah. And... Did lose a few guns, but able to buy up, it looks like. God, there's such an economy here for Ohio Northern. Looks like a timeout being taken on the side of uh, Tiffany University. Mm. Brando being in our IGL is very analytical. Probably is talking to his team, figuring out what's, what's going on. Are they rushing? Are they playing more passive? What do you want to see them? What do you want Tiffin on the side of defense to do to adapt to ONU? Because ONU seems to be able to get onto site, get the plant down, and hold it. I think they need to be playing a little bit more zany. They're playing fairly safe, all things considered. They're giving a lot of respect to Ohio Northern. I think they deserve respect, but I think they're giving too much. Like, if you stance up your jet, sitting around where they are right now, Go for early shots with that op. You're not playing the the op as well as you could if you're just going to give sight every time and play for retakes. Yeah. So you have to play for that early greedy value. Play a little bit zany. Play a little bit weird, and make them guess your second move a little bit more. I think that's realistically where they can improve. Absolutely. And this is like one thing I, I definitely liked. Uh, to your point, I think the like a one round that I think Tiffin has won like majorly on our defense. I think it was the third round was when our cipher literally pushed B main, killed two. Yeah. Got traded, but he got his two, and yeah. So. Most likely, you could see that. So it's any chaos you kind of got to lean into at times in order to win games when you're down Except a little bit. Except it doesn't have a buy. There it is. <laughs> They're still committing onto the op, which they kind of have to because they don't have the money to buy something else. But it's got to find its mark here. That's that. That's gonna scan too. Yeah. All right, we know where at least two of the side of the one U is, but like, let's see what see if we can do with it. Johnson gets the early bit damage. Chip. Early bit of chip. He wanted to shock out the trip. Unfortunately, missed. But that's all right. Still good to get that chip damage. And look, lung collapse is holding exactly what I said I think needed to happen. Playing a little mm. bit greedier. Just get out. Oh, no! Cannot get out with his life. Unfortunately, Sigurd's being there to punish it. That is an early 4v5 for Tiffin. Tiffin needs to use his KO ult this year. I'm like. Breno has pushed up towards mid. He yeah, could no get a idea. kill. No oh, and you playing very well. It's very spread out. Looks like they are going towards that B site. Our cipher here needs. Oh wait, the mid play. They have no idea. They are pivoting back to A. Off the contract, I think from the cipher they're pivoting back. Ciphers, they're just gonna be contesting each other, but they're still. Yeah, here that comes the viper wall. That IGL is keeping that pressure alive. And the viper pit used. Reactively viper's pit, but that doesn't give them very much space to work with. It. They're still able to walk up very freely. And plant outside of the Viper's Pit. Yep, Snake Bite's gonna pressure Epitens. Good spam damage off of the, I believe, was the site, wow. was the dart. And all of a sudden, Tiffin's heavily favored. Yeah, they play that exemplary. Snake Bite. Viper probably missed. Viper probably missed. That doesn't hit the spike. They're gonna get half, and they get the kill. So the op would not be able to be recovered, but honestly. I think this Owen has been bad. very good at punishing the op plays. I think it might actually be for the better to not have the operator at this point. It's not found anything other than a little bit of. Oh, it looks like we're getting. Uh, we're letting. Okay, we are going to be able to pick up the op. Okay. That's what we were waiting on. I still stand by. I think that the operator has been a bit more of a red herring for them than actually. It has yet to see, yet to see great value. Yes, mm -hmm. but it's still the threat. Of course. One tap. Besides the legs, but still 120 damage. It's very deadly, but again, Owen Yu playing this super well to get, like, we know where it is. Don't let her get out. Yeah. It is realistically up to that from Ohio Northern. And even though they lost that round, they still have another round of cushion before they start dipping into their reserves. Yes, I see this round being very pivotal because if Tiffin wins this, Owen Yu may be on a little bit of a save, pushing it to 11 11. Yeah. I mean,. It'll be a very soft save if they do. Likely only one or two players. I'll say Flames being very aware of this operator. It's a nice toxic screen. Yeah, that's that's why. Okay, that's why you put it through halls. You can save your orbs. Typically, there's a lineup to put it. Oh no! Uh -oh. Through. Got no clue, buddy. But he still gets Good trade. it. Good. He gets the one. And yet, Flames. Flames has been very impactful. Oh so yeah, far. he's been huge. They pushed up very aggressively. 
They heard that. They heard that too. The, oh, this flash would be huge. Doesn't push off of it. Very smart. They found my wire. Oh no! Saw the gun. Johnson Johnson. Johnson. Double kill. They could, I don't think they want to. Okay, they do use the viper. They use the neuro theft to know where exactly where everyone is. They know they're very split. Snake bite will pressure that. Doesn't matter. Yep. It does matter. Secret's still here. No. He could have he could have dealt a little bit more damage to the economy. I but. think the molly missed, and that made it where the person could definitely stick. I don't think he could spam even if they got the kills. I don't think it did. I, I saw. I saw. I'm pretty sure I saw Johnson Gunk die to the snake bite. Because he died maybe. to Viper. He died to the Viper utility. Oh, maybe then. I, I, I thought it, I thought there was a little bit of a gap, but I thought so. But I, maybe his foot was on it. Like maybe. Like there's a tippy toe on it. Like, uh oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so as I said before, this actually looks like. So when you can force up, and they have a lot of ults now coming up, the Neuro Theft, the Blade Storm, almost just run it back. I'd like to see Owen Yu grab an ult orb and just run, run it back. <laughs> yep. And Tiffin, they're a bit dry on the ult economy. The closest is four out of eight, I believe. Yeah, we had to use a lot of ults in the past two rounds to secure yeah. it. But honestly, a round win is a round win. Yeah, but that's the this thing. This could be huge. That's the if thing. Tiffin can take the seal. Oh, there does. it is. That's the value out of the op. Tiffin immediately... Up 4v2 and or 4v5, and as you said, Flames has been super pivotal for the side of Own You, being a huge playmaker, taking the space, winning a lot of the duels he takes. And that was one of their two ultimates, right? They want this ult orb, they're gonna cage it just to confirm it. Ooh, he, as I said, they got it. He's gonna, there it is. Yep. Just, like just as I was saying. The Owl Drone actually is the thing that triggers that. And Epitens gets the trade. I have the Vandal. I don't know if like, we see like. I would have liked to see him break the owl drone because the trick, the trip will then reactivate. Might be able to catch someone and then get the kill. So yeah, Tiffin not being able to flood out and retaking with operator is super hard. That shot from Saf might have secured it. They yeah, can't this get is very defuse. dangerous. They can't get an early easy defuse, but Han Solo is able to get some pressure. And that's oh, traded. But wow, kill. they follow up on that pressure very nicely. It's just the op and a single vandal remaining. And I don't think they get the defuse. Good stall. Someone needs to get on. It's not even a stall at this point, it's a kill. Someone needs to stick. Okay, we got it. There we go. Scary. Very scary, but we did get it in the end. Tiffin's adjusting how they play these retakes a little bit, and I like it. I still am not the biggest fan of the op and how it's been played, but it's working out. Get, yeah, getting that first pick onto uh, Flame there was the best pick you could get out of it. Mm -hmm. And this is huge. Wait, Onyu's forcing up. They lose this round. They can't buy next. I don't think no. they can, at least. They're giving away the map if they lose this round. Well, they, again, they're on a 2900 loss bonus, so they can buy at least guns. But I'm worried about utility. Utility is super important, but I see yeah. Flames has money. A lot of ults coming up, so this round is, like, super pivotal for both teams. You can't let Flames get picked immediately again by this op. This op has been... Or if on the side Tiffin, you need to pick off. <laughs> yeah, you need to get you flamed. Need to pick him off. And now look at this. They're playing way more aggressive than the Bladestorm used. It's that's from on the, the side defenders. Of the Tiffin, yeah, that's on the side of the Tiffin. The Bladestorm does come out. It's just going to be stalled out a little Ooh. bit. I see a moment where you could push A main. I don't think anyone will do it just yet. Regardless of A main, B is left wide open. It's just a Cypher sitting there. Yeah, Cypher's very strong, strong, able to hold down sites pretty well on his own, but... If he gets flooded, flood out, like he's very deadly. Like he's he's very dead. Yeah. It looks uh, like Owen Yu. Well, Spike is in their spawn, so they have to go back for it eventually. But I think Owen Yu is just wanting map control. Yeah. yeah. Pushing up mid. This is very smart. Just seeing if anyone overpeaks. If anyone like doesn't know exactly where they're going. Yeah. The four-man firing squad stancing up on B. And there it is. Build their positions. The rotate comes through. Tiffin. They're ready off, to match. Off, off that. Off that camera, they definitely saw four people, so yeah, everyone's just running over. Regardless of being ready to match, they're still going to be a little bit slow to retake. That's two Flames gone again! He's died at the start of every round recently. And one's at half wall, but I don't think anyone knows it. Secrets. Traded. Zero theft used. I don't know how much that'll do. It'll 3v3, 4v3, 2v2. Trades are going back and forth on both sides. Tiffin, they need to win this out. And it's Tiffin goes cut out. out. Ohio Northern. 
they're rewarded for their greedy play. They're rewarded for going all in on their economy and going all in on that buy. Now, they still won't be able to get a ton of utility, but they will be able to get something. And it's Tiffany University now on the back foot on the economy. Yeah, this is where you're going to see a little bit of a scary situation because Viper gets the plant, she will Viper spit. Yep. This is a, like, everyone must use their ults in this round because if you don't, you're going to lose it. Yeah. Tiffin must bring this into OT if they want to have any chance of taking this back. Yeah. And it's it's Tiffin without any ultimates, though. They're close to the Null Command. That's probably going to be the one they build and the one that they look for. But this Hunter's Fury to enter is a Flames already dashing onto site. Terrified of Hunter's Fury, Good but it's spam. Johnson. Johnson being very pivotal. Whoa. No null trades. I can't tell the trades are going so fast. They're not going to be able to null command, but they still have the two ultimates that matter: the Hunter's Fury and, and the Viper's, Viper's Pit. Pit. You're right. And the Orb try to get their their uh, Sofa out of there. That's super. That's very well played. Good teamwork out outside of O and U. Oh, they could cut noise and rehit. This is. They could just be waiting for cooldowns. They're going for B, I think. Didn't they could again. They could just cut noise and hopefully people over rotate. The dart comes out on the side of Tiffany University. They're not holding B. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Owen. You may want to either go through mid, or they want to re-hit. I think it's looking up. like they're the threatening. Thoughts. That the wall comes up to threaten the re-hit. So yeah, this is definitely a mid. Come this on. is gonna be huge. Our viper, our viper, a nest needs to get a kill here. And she doesn't. It's Saf. The pinpoint accuracy to take down the viper. I only the, think they yeah. saw the Sova. Now they're running towards B. This is yeah. That was a must-kill situation from the side of Tiffany University. If I'm Kyle, I ult right here, right now, and yep. there it goes. Viper's pit, plants. Sova needs to... I think Sova needs to get off-site. Play for his ultimate. One kill. Johnson, reading that the Sova is going off-site, is flanking. One kill. This and is the Hunter's Fury is online. You'll be able to know where the Viper is. If you can get the kill, you can get the round. But Ooh. Kyle gets Johnson. Everything but it's down to Breno. It's all the pressure in the world on Breno. Brenna one. Oh. Just Hope misses it. He, heard, he hears the drop. Yep. Saf getting that pressure from the side. Brenna looks to meet. He's chasing, and that's nope. Saf with the kill. Ohio Northern take map one. But yeah, both sides playing very well. Um, I think Tiffin, as you said before, just not getting, being able to get the same value out of the operator as the side of ONU. Yeah. I think ultimately they try to force it a little bit too hard in my opinion. If they played full vandal, if they played or full rifles, and they played for this retakes a little bit more, I think it would have looked a little bit better. But trying to play for that high risk high reward worked out a few times, and they looked good when it worked out. Just needed that little bit extra workout. Absolutely. And trades going back and forth. Both teams playing this incredibly well. Just own you a little bit better. Yep. And we're gonna have to see after a break if they can keep up this tempo and keep up their ability to play better than Tiffin at the moment. We'll have to see if Tiffin can bite back Absolutely. on map two, which will be Haven. We'll see you after the break. Absolutely. All right, all right, welcome back, welcome back. I am J-Rob, back again with my new casting partner, Blaine. Hello, happy to be here. Yeah, what, what were your thoughts? Because you saw it from the spectating aspect. What were your thoughts of that last game? Um, well, I was specifically watching from the Tiffin perspective, and there was a lot, I mean, from that first half of the game, it was very intense on both sides. Oh, yes. Um, with the opening side from Tiffin and getting those first four key rounds was just huge. I think with that momentum, they kind of lost it in the later half. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, being able to take it back and eventually in an 11 13 end for that first map was super close and so many opportunities for either team to take advantage and eventually falling the way of ONU. I think we're in a really close scenario right now. It looks like we're actually an agent select for Haven. Um, I have heard on the sidelines that this is ONU's better map. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? So, yeah, I was talking with one of our good analysts. Uh, Adam for Tiffany University saying how I think if if the numbers were right, Haven for ONU, I think they're like 20-something in four. <laughs> oh my so this gosh. is going to be a very big fight for Tiffany University. So this, I mean, when they were doing the map select, it was a bet and Tiffin call. They even, might even raise this. Uh, yes. I mean, they, we're going to see actually some similar compositions here, almost entirely. But one thing that I did stick out to me was um, the Phoenix. 
Yeah, and it, I am surprised about how much value that Phoenix got into Breeze. Yeah, it was. I mean, it got so much value, but then it's like the, it is such an ego character that you can just go ahead. You're going to go in, you get your ones, have strong flashes, and you're just going to win your fights. Especially with um, being able to use his ultimate and then just get picks and have a f instant five v four was a huge advantage. Oh, absolutely. His ultimate is a Sova Drum that shoots you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, no fun to deal with. But no. I think um, I do like the switch up for Breach. There was a lot, and I mean KO on Breeze is a very strong character you need to be able to take a lot of space and he has a lot of like very wide abilities but with this breach it has a lot of setup um and should facilitate for better fights for the yeah, side of Tiffin. Uh, Haven has a lot more angles has a lot more area so the breach stun the, the flash is gonna be huge but what I'm super scared about is those angles favor Phoenix flashes. They do. And Phoenix, I mean he is he's the entry character and then we I mean we saw time and time again on that last map Phoenix, uh, what was it, Epitens? Ep Empitens. Epitens is um, how we were saying, yes. Gotcha. Uh, he had no fear entering into those sites. He just went ahead and yeah. got straight into it. But actually, on the pistol round here, we're going to see a grouping from Tiffin on the C side. And some information, a three-man stack for the side of ONU on A, and they're going to have a quick rotation. It's early space taken from uh, the side of Tiffin. Secrets gets the first kill with that Frenzy. The Frenzy being very strong at that close range. Staffing and kill. Brother trading it back. And there's going to be one pick. Four, two picks for the side of Tiffin. And that's actually going to be a 3v3 scenario. Three Retake is out, but there's well. going to be Secrets very close by. And they're trying to find him. Zeptic does. And that is going to be a man situation Zeptic in favor of Tiffin. And he, oh my god, he is Zeptic is dead to any form of pistol shot. There's going to be the fight. And there's going to be... Titans coming up huge, and this, I mean, we did see a 2v1 clutch from Phoenix in the mass map. It's entirely possible. I'm scared. Like, these people are so low, he could win this. Like, I mean, oh my gosh. one, okay, All trades, right. are, trades are in favor. Okay, we got it in the end. A little scary, but Tiffin does take the first round, but remember, this is how Tiffin started that last map. Yeah, they did have a lot of momentum, and one thing, too, is uh, as they started to get a little ahead of themselves, the the Valorant basics started to break down a little bit. They weren't getting into trading scenarios. They were just giving a bunch of ones. And that is one thing that you just need to stay on top of. When it's a LAN environment, it is just super nerve-wracking nerve to be in that. It is something. I have experience with LAN, and it is something. But it looks like Tiffin is hitting for another C hit, but it looks like ONU is reading this a little bit with having three people towards that garage side. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The four-man gamble stack sitting on the C side, and they're going to be running potentially into a meat grinder here. We're going to see Secrets Breach flash, Util. Secrets stuns, <laughs> Sova Tart. Yeah, just Breach, Util dump. But there's going to be the two high-performing members sitting on the corner there trying to entry the site. But can they clear the corner? Zeptic gets one, and they're clear. entering it. Bomb plant does oh. not go down, but Zeptic does get another. We're going to be a 3v2 in favor of ONU. But no! Zeptic trades it back out, and we are all even on this site take. No matter what, this is a huge round for ONU. They've gotten three picks on the side of their save round. Let's see, can Zeptic theoretically get the first ace? We had oh, Zeptic so close to the first one on that first map. There's going to be secrets. Making the corner right there, and oh, he gets it with a no, frenzy. Oh, no, that's the bull dive down. But there's going to be the trade. Okay. Location is known for either party here. Okay, both know. Oh, oh, the shot from Kyle taking him down. And t <laughs> good peek from Kyle there. Just outreads it. I mean, with the Deagle, you just go ahead, gets a clean off the head. We're tied up 1 1, and that is going to be the bonus round for Tiffin going the way of ONU. Not even the bonus. The bonus is the third round. It's the save. Yeah, that's right. That's the scary aspect because, yeah, now Tiffin's on Sheriffs, and now Flames picking up the early operator. You saw how much value this man got in that oh. first map. Oh, does he? Oh, no, never mind. He, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Team Cap just went in, reeled him right on back. He said, "Hold up." I mean, I wouldn't be that. too mad because again, he got so much value on that first on that first map with the operator on that defense side. He got a lot of value, but if it does go the way of Tiffin, you are losing almost guaranteed the next two, maybe even three rounds if they hit, get that off in their hands. Yeah, but again, Tiffin lost with with guns. Oh, and you could theoretically do the same. Oh, oh, the killer's walking up with no utility. Are we going to get? There's really good timing for the side of Tiffin, though. And actually, yeah. quick rotation. 
the Lurk from Titans here. He is going to be zoning it out a little bit and yep. no contact yet, but there is a big grouping in the garage that could potentially meet contact with Yeah, Elenia. they want to take this close range fight because they <laughs> don't have the gun advantage, but this play from Kennedy could be, or Titans, Kennedy, Johnson, whatever his name is, he's changed <laughs> it so many times. He could be, he's, oh my gosh, he's lurched so through A. He could call the people through. He's gotten a timing into their spawn. Yeah, he is just inching his way forward. And it is crazy how these teams have not seen each other yet. There is some damage on the side of Tiffin. Uh, good utility usage for ONU. That's going to be a half health Sova. Bro, how, is, how has our Kiltra gotten all the way into right. heaven? Where? What is happening? How has... This is the problem. This is the problem because we planted and because we've committed towards a site. Because Kenny probably come, come a, come a. He didn't clear long. Oh, well, I mean, it was just all timing, but then there's going to be the re-entry coming from CT side. Tiffin's trying to get back onto A here, but they're just going to be answered. It's down. Are they aware of good, but no. Not. Titans gets one, and he's going to try to peek, and can he connect the shot? Chris Time is jet. of the matter here, and he drops. We need to double swing him. Spike can't. It's not going to go down. I think we pinched that jet. We have our jet on the side. We have uh, Kenny in heaven. I think we pinched that jet. Unfortunately, it's not on the side of Tiffin. Yeah. Well, one thing, too, is that they do not have the god view that we have. Oh, true. Which, but, uh, I mean, if I had that, I feel like I'd be winning the land pretty easily there. <laughs> yeah, it's any team. But no, just being able to, like, as uh, Kennedy Johnson... Uh, yeah, he John pushed Gunk, up. Titans, he, whatever you want to call him. He pushed up, took so much space, but because no one cleared that long angle, we were able to backstab, get the bomb down, and like weren't able to pick up the kills in the end. Yeah, and it being on a save too is a little difficult, but playing for picks now, it looks like, is the call here. We just need to go ahead and reestablish some sort of uh, momentum here. Or we can find anything, and it is a gun round two for Tiffin. Yeah, we grabbed the orb because now we have the breach ult too. That can be a very useful exact material. Oh, and yeah. you see Johnson again sneaking up towards that eight, but that flash, Oh, one goes man. down, and then there's going to be a tri potential trade, but no, Titans goes down, and that is going to be a rough. We also lost our omen somewhere on the map. I'm not sure where. I see the vision because he wanted to catch the Sova out when he had this drone, but he didn't expect the Phoenix to be over there with him. Yeah, and I mean, that's exactly what you need. You just need to be playing twos. You need to play your trades, and that is something that is just really hard to do on the site, but they are going to go for the B take here. Util is going to come out, but they're going to be grouped. Omen of Flash does look like, I think it's two, and he's sitting back site now. Does the spike go down? It's trying to, but no, two go down for the side of Tiffin. One gets traded. Can Reno find another? And that will be a third round yeah. on the board for OSU, or ONU, excuse me. Yeah, Tiffin just uh, showing a little impatience. Can, uh, Johnson again going for the same work through uh, short, trying to get the pick, but just gets punished. I, again, I, I'm not sure how he lost the Omen. Tiffin sort of being dismantled right now on their on their uh, offense this map in my fa in my opinion is more of a defense favorite side but even mm -hmm. then you need as many rounds as you can on the on the def on the offense oh yeah i mean that magic number at least when you're playing on offense is six 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 once you hit that six and you can transition to the defense side okay with a some amount of confidence it'll be a lot easier especially like when you're talking about this is a very ct sided map with three sites to take uh i mean you got to spread your numbers kind of evenly here but you have a lot of opportunities to take five very quickly absolutely and you don't really see too many ultimate the ultimate game probably coming out here because like own you wants to save them because they're on a on a save tiffin doesn't want to use them because like they're fight they're at such a low gun advantage like why use the breach ult unless you're guaranteed to kill exactly so bold, it's a little hard to get the oh, but there's going to be the bait and switch right here. Are they going to clear this corner out? Flames sitting around, and there's going to be the Phoenix ult too. They're going to be very focused on this hey. Phoenix here. Ult does get dropped, but no, there's going to be two down in Flames. Comes up huge with a fourth coming on to Saf, and that is going to be one member left, the lone Breno here for Tiffin. His sheriff in hand, he and not much else. Kills. Him. Yeah, like he, need, he either needs to get the plant down for money or just like drop guns, but I think ONU has such a good financial situation that they can hunt, they can just continue to swing them. Yeah, call he them. He needs to be good at least for Wall Street because they are just loaded oh, no. right now. Three for Flames in that round, and he is just feeling himself. Yeah. Well, that was a really smart setup because you have Flames in that corner waiting for their Phoenix to take contact. The Phoenix pops his ult, swings because he can do that for free now because of his ultimate. Gets one. Everyone is now focused on that Phoenix. Maybe the repeak. No one expects that jet to swing out. Gets two. Gets away. Yeah. Which is the classic bait and switch. And we're looking at two goose eggs on the side of Tiffin as well. And that is one thing you do not want to see on a jet is a donut. 
Yeah. Unfortunate situation here, but they were able to pull themselves out of that funk last map. Guns in hand now. Rifles are going to be huge. They're going to go for a potentially a the big ace The duel's doing the same here. exact setup. Let's see if Tiffin adapts and learns from what happened last time. I honestly would like to see a breach ult. Never mind. Cast cursed. <laughs> yep, not you able to see not. a breach ult with that one. Uh, we are actually going to see a KJ try to force them off site, though, and that does do its job. They it are going to be forced off. Yeah, the Silva does not have his ult yet from the setup of ONU, but like... We get on the site, we'll get the plant down, but we're in a 4v5, four, four so this will be very, very, uh, a little testy. And yeah, 4v5 situation, but oh, yeah, Secrets, Secrets does gets find one. one. We're gonna just be seeing way too many random swings right now. Getting yeah, on the site, Flames, Flames gets another, another pile on top. Yeah. And it is just... That's a, that, that's a wonderful retake from the side of ONU. You. you can tell that they're super, uh, coordinated, knowing exactly what they do on this map. Uh, this is very scary for the side of Tiffany University. Yeah, just a absolute dismantling they're being taken apart we're not, we're not seeing the trades that we need to we're not seeing really just anyone hitting their shots unfortunately and it's just something where you just got to get yourself out of that i mean i know when i'm playing I, my rank games personally, it is so hard personally i'd like to see a timeout being called here just to get like timeout reset the mental talk to your coach mm -hmm. what's what do they see what's going through because so, something like oh you right now has tiffin's number Yep, it is on their notepad. They just they need to dial the it in. Operator on the Sova. <laughs> that is very unconventional. Yeah, but he, I mean, why not? He's going to be able to. And actually, I mean, he's just holding. They're just locking down C right now. No one on A, but oh, we've been still is going to be established on to B. We are going to see Jet try to go and take it out, but no. Well, uh, there's actually a trade from Zeptic. Yeah, there's the trade. Util is going to lock down the site for now. Smokes will be going down very shortly. Yeah, we gun. do see a spike plant. Yeah, we got the we got the gun off the kill. This KJ fight is going to be very important. KJ v KJ, who sees who first? Oh, and Breno's just going to get spotted out, but there is going to be the trade, or not necessarily a trade, but there is this take. Kill the other side of the map. Oh, kill the other side of the map, and the instant Ooh. double swing. But these people are being very condensed. Yeah. Like everyone, yeah. This they're so. Oh, yeah, there you have. They did not get half. That's a kill. So they know the low, and Kyle with the op. He just needs he to needs get to out. Run. Yeah, get the heck out okay. of dodge. You're up four rounds right now. Take your Ws while you can and just get out. You they're keep chasing, but this too. is scary. Okay, missed the shot. Okay. The operator does go down, but I think this I think the finances for the side of O and U will not be hurt that much. Oh, oh that's Eesh. a little scary. That's yeah. a little... But I mean, yeah, they have to be sitting at 9k all across the board. There is no doubt. Um, not on the side of Tiff, and Tiffin looking a little low on money here. Yeah, they're we're gonna see O and U good for another two, maybe even three rounds of buys. So they just, they're just gonna have to go ahead and make sure they are winning these fights. And I mean, they took site really well there. They established their utility, got it to where they needed to on those choke points. And it, I wouldn't say it was trades, maybe just a little bit of lucky timing, but a oh, win's a win in that round. Yeah, I, I personally, right now, would like to see Tiffany University use these ultimates. They've been holding on to this bridge ult for a little too long, in my opinion. Just, it's a so, it's, 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 it wasn't able to see anything, so I don't know what information he can really call. And there's again, gonna... Omen, it just, I mean, not a questionable ult. No, he, he cleared back sight with the ultimate, so it's not terrible. Like, But because he didn't see anything, that could be a fate. Oh, no, never mind. No, and just bad timing. Jet op. I was talking, I, I think, I, I, again, I think I said it before. The go, repeat, he, though. He goes down to the repeat because I think he's feeling himself, but. This jet from Flames, from Owen, on the side of Owen U, has been so pivotal for that operator. Mm -hmm. Getting so many kills on Breeze, doing so much work. There's a timing on Seasight, so they could retake it. It looks like they want to. I know. Noise has been dropped. And there's going to oh, be, no. they were expecting just an instant rush over to A after they got those picks. Oh, but this really might be the read. Tiffin might be actually finding a play here. They're going to go ahead, drop as much util as they can, take the site. There's no one to be seen from the side of Owen UNC, and they will no, go ahead and get that spike down. Now it is time to establish I'm their dominance. Omen. Plant their feet. This five picking the Omen. It's not like it looks like he's prepared for it. You see, breaking down the kill trail. Lung Collapser kills. He goes the flanker, so like the flank that I was worried about no longer coming to fruition. You see Tiffin University all playing the post plant. And it is everyone grouped up on long. There breach ult is going to come out now, finally. I don't defense. mind the breach ult. The, the, the one-way smoke is absolutely fantastic. Here comes the flash. Oh, yeah. This is all just util play. You can't do much about Traded. it. 
Trades go inside the Tiffany University because they have the numbers. This Odin could do a lot of damage, but I think, yeah, Onu finally realized we can't we can't win this round. Let's give that operator back in the hands of Flames and let's save for this round. And I mean that is three to five. Tiffany University is starting to make their comeback now. Um and it, they looked really good holding that site. Once they got their uh, their site established, they got their util down, and then they just had the rest of the time to play. Breach util, Sova darts. They had everything they needed, and they just had to stay in their lane. That is true, but the one thing I will say that makes me a little scared is we did, TV University did use three ultimates in that fight. Yeah, that is a lot of We uh, used the Omenol, yeah, we used Omenol really early to get the information. Then we used Sova to break the cage, so that's a that's a one for one. But then we used Breach to get them off the off the uh, of the defuse. Yeah. Well, it, you got to take them where you can, and if you have to invest three ults, I would say more two ish to get the round. I'll take it. But there's going to be the duelist Phoenix actually doubling up again. They might try to uh -oh. do the second bait and switch. Oh, it's be just get spotted out. Okay. Get that one off though. Keeps his armor, keeps his health. So that's not too bad, but we definitely know where everyone is in this chest. Moves up with the operator. I don't want to see anyone die to this. Oh my god, that was Scary. real hairy. Yeah, but we knew. We we know three people's on A though, so it looks like we're immediately running over to C, but I don't think we were expecting the stack. Because the Killjoy and the Omen are on that site, um, on C's site. Yeah, it's an even spread right now. Tiffin with still a little bit less Back than a minute to left to play. Util has been used on both sides. I don't think there is really much information that either team can play off of. They know what the, the Util's have been used, so they really just have that to play. Help. That's that big, was, though. That's going to help, though, because the Sova probably saw more than just the person he tagged. The Operator is not on site, so it's not going to be too scary. But it's just going to be a five-man rotation. ONU has found them out. The jig is up. Tiffany University trying to take the site and is actually going to find it. There's going to be one pick from Titan, two on Septic, and maybe even a third, but no. Nope. Secret Trade. shuts it down and Ooh, gets two. two. Damage onto Secrets and damage onto the Owen used jet, equaling onto Breno on our Sova. So this is going to be a 3v3 retake. This is going to be scary. And it just a quick break until the fight start again. But one there's going to be actually a quick take from one collapser. Good Saf goes inside. down. 3v2 in favor of Tiffin one with a down. second. The one. And then do they save the off again? No, they can't even do that. Tiffin okay. University comes up huge. And we are almost at a squared up tied game. Yeah, Tiffin University doing. So they might have needed a pause. But like just knowing what to do, what to adapt. Taking the, these past three rounds, it looks like Tiffin is really like looking at the gameplay, figuring out what they need to do, what they need to fix, and it seems to be executing quite well. But the the real question is, can they continue it? I think, I mean, momentum has been established here. They have gained three rounds over the past three rounds, so I feel like they're starting to feel themselves. The economy is starting to break from the side of ONU as well. So with that, I think if they could just get one, maybe two more on the board, we I would say we're going to be at a tied 6-6. I don't think they're going to go with 7-5 here. There has to be a round where there's just going to be an ONU pop-off. I am totally feeling it. I wonder, I wonder what the economy is like. I haven't taken, taken too much of a look at that, but... Yeah, if we can see the economy real quick, well, we have a lull of what's going on. Um, I think it, I, when I last looked, it, it's very even right now, but... Uh, still, with winning three rounds in a row, ONU's economy is near the breaking point. Yeah, because that's that's my biggest aspect. Because like, if Tiffany can win some rounds, break the economy, then I would like to say the next round should be unlosable. But we did lose the second round off of off yeah. winning the pistol. So, oh, this kill. Oh, but there's gonna be a there big one is. just lurking it out, and Kyle goes and down. He's going for more. I don't like. I, I don't like going for more. Oh, I really that is don't. So greedy. It is, but like we pull the rotates and staff gets one. So yeah, now it's a from a four v from a four v five to a two v two v four. Oh man, and ONU is actually going to be coming up really on top there. Flames is going to look for the one, does not find oh, it. Wait but, a but, minute, but an instant two v two, and ONU does the flank, bring it back. The flank, but the no, flank from the omen. We're in a one v two situation. Zeptic almost it's clutched it out. Health, though. On Breeze sitting with 16 health. He could have done it on KO. Down. He has I'm, to do it on Breach. I know. He, I love this rotate from ONU. Just, yeah, the blind. The everything is so beautiful. Answer. The utility. And it's just a clean retake from ONU. They're going to go ahead and get their sixth round on the board. Yeah. I, and, I, I like the original aspect of going to that corner, getting that first kill. But going for more is very greedy. Yeah, that's those are those are the moments where... 
you just got to, I mean, I, you can't see me right now, but I'm, I'm reeling in a big fish, and that big fish was the KJ. You had to get him back in yeah. to your team and make sure you weren't just biting off more than you could chew in that exact moment. Kennedy is very good for it. He can get very many kills, but sometimes it's just not for it. It's just not meant to be. Yeah, it's, I mean, what do you really gain in that scenario where if you get that one extra kill, cool, you may have an open site, but if you lose that one, you put your team in more of a detrimental spot than what you gain from. Exactly. You lose your flank pressure, and because you got the kill on A, you can threaten a re-hit. Mm -hmm. But because you push, you lose the entire pressure. But that's a huge Sova Dart. Oh, that's a big Sova Dart. They're actually trying to go for a quick A take here. Tiffin is... Uh, with a large grouping, but we do see yeah. KJ Wait, going to be lurking and does get the one on the rotate. Flames goes down. That is going to be a big pickup for Tiffin. Yeah, Flames has been absolutely pivotal for the side of O and U. Do they want to go ahead and stay on the commitment? Not necessarily. They are just looking for what they can, seeing if ONU tries to find their own opportunity. And there's a big yeah, point that, that fight between, between the Sova Omen. and the Omen here. This, that, this, that smoke is oh going to no. drop. But Kyle actually gets one. Yeah. And getting a little bit too antsy there. I think, we wanted, I think we wanted to just fasten up and we lost our jet, but... Again, it looks like Tiffin getting the first pick, but then like... Oh, but there's going to be... Look at where KJ is. Yeah, again, I like how, I like how uh, Johnson is like taking a lot of good space for his team, but sometimes it's just too quick, in my opinion. Oh, and that is just bad timing. We need to see some util coming out from Omni. Might not have smoked, but there's going to be a good trade. 2v3 and trying to find it, but no, that's going to be another one person scenario, and that is a seventh round on the board. Yeah. ONU coming up. We are on the last round of this half, and Tiffin needs to clutch because a four and a five round half is a big difference. Yeah, this is a little scary. I'm, I'm not sure what the finance is, but I think Tiffin doesn't have that much in the bank. Hopefully they save a little bit much from the last three victories they had. Well, we will see how they do decide to invest their finances. There it Whether is. it's in mutual funds, stocks, bonds, we'll see on this half. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they do have enough money to buy everything. Ultimates are coming on. They have another kill drill, but on the side, Kildre ult, sure, but they have Seville to break it. Empentens with that Phoenix ult, the run-up back has been super pivotal, getting his one, dying, but staying alive. Hey, because If of, he gets his it. one, it just makes a world of difference. Even if he doesn't really get his one, if he does damage, or if he get, like finds information, it is massive. Oh, but this is actually... Tiffin spotting out the members on A site really deters them from making any sort of aggression from the defense yeah. side onto the attackers. And they noticed that there was a few people there, whether it was audio cues or the dart itself, they're looking for a hit onto C, and this might call for a very quick rotate with Kennedy still sitting in the middle and can catch another, maybe even jet kill. Correct, but this this uh, Killjoy alarm bot could be the decider of knowing that like, people are here. It looks like he wants to play back and only killed rotates, but like... I Oh yeah, side Oh, you, out. oh, oh you does use his ult, so that means Kennedy or uh, Johnson could use his ult for free without breaking it. Yep, and that is going to be no one. I think it connected on one person, but Zeptic does get that one. Kyle with a huge shock dart does get oh, the pick flames, two go down for Tiffin. The third, Staff gets one. and it is falling very quickly here. Attacker side kills Kill Joy. All, but they have to push this, but like. And perfect timing for the smoke to go down. I don't know if they can get the lockdown right now. They but. can't, but they can play for time. They have 4v1. One All person right. can stick while like, everyone peaks. Just like that. And that's an 8-4 half yeah. in favor of Rowan Yu. <laughs> we got the plant down, but as I said, the, Fe the Phoenix ult went in, caused mayhem, caused damage, shocked our kill on the omen, and just the retake was absolutely beautiful of, of um, Owen Yu. We can see why they are very strong on this map. Yeah, they, I mean, they have played it to a T at this point with just consistent retakes and constant trades, playing just ABC Valorant, where you're playing with your buddies, making sure you're able to get those uh, two for ones, and it just works out super well in their favor. But on this half, we do see a CT side or a defense side, Tiffany University now. This could be a different story, but I mean, with how well the entries were happening from ONU on the last map, I, it's going to be a very difficult call for yeah. what is going to go down here. Yes, flames on this jet has been super pivotal. Getting a lot of the retakes, getting a lot of kills. And they're actually going to go ahead and get aggressive. Jet finds there one! That's a huge start, but you, we've seen Tiffin start. Oh, never mind. Bruno gets another one. Yeah, and that's two members of 
Ohio Northern down. down. Yeah, but we saw Tiffin do the same thing this past round. Like, they won the pistol. The question is, are they able to, if they can win this round, can they confirm their bone or the next round, the anti eco? I mean, well, with how they're looking right now, they just might do it. There's going to be two in favor, or uh, two left for the side of ONU, three members down, and it's going to be in favor of Tiffin University for this. The connections are looking rough, and they know they are just trying to catch anyone out now, but Tiffin is not giving an inch nor a mile of rope. And which they're we shouldn't. It. We definitely should not be overpicking. We want to keep our guns, we want to keep our lives. Every kill we give the opponents, every kill Tiffin gives to ONU, is 200 more in the bank. Mm -hmm. and Even so if ONU loses the round, buy a sheriff, buy something back. that could turn the next round. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they are, uh, they're just forcing ONU to make difficult decisions here. Being well spread out, I respect Tiffin trying to make sure every point of contention is covered. They have established contact. There's going to be a site take for A. They're going to vote to retake instead, concede the site for now, and just make it difficult and just overwhelm attack and just try to get as many people as possible. The breach stone was, in my opinion, a little bit early because no one was able to swing on it. But Tiffin is able to retake nicely, get everything back together, and we could see this being the start of another comeback like last map. Could. Tiffin is going to be crossing their fingers on that one. And with an 8 5. Yeah, knock on. I mean, I think, that, I don't know if this is a wood desk, but we'll be knocking on it because this should be 8 6. Yeah, but as we did not see that at the beginning of the game, though. As uh, as said before, we lost the the next round. We lost the round after our pistol on our offense. So, I want you are not going to be scared to buy up. Most likely, you see a sheriff, you see a frenzy. They have been good for it. Yeah, and I think that was just a better defense on the side itself, um, and not necessarily the actual gunplay, but. We're gonna have to wait and see. And they actually very heavy go mid. Ahead. They're gonna be a yeah, heavy down mid. We do see one fall, and that is a big pick in it as well. Phoenix almost connected on, and Lung Collapser looking for his second kill. Just really wants to find it. Smokes will go ahead and allow the space for ONU to push further. I like going you trying to put pressure on the B side because it's a lot more closer. You don't have to take those long range duels. Looks like everyone's just gonna cut noise. Hopefully for over peaking. I do not want to see side of Tiffin dropping too many guns. They need it for this next round. Mm -hmm. And we are going to see, actually, Johnson Kennedy Titans looking for one, but he elects to back off, which is the smart decision here. Almost finds a second on there. ONU playing very patiently, and you are definitely right. B is the site to take if you are trying to overwhelm. But the Lurk, the lurk I didn't even notice from the Sova. He's locked up A. He, he could have a free site. Yeah, he might just confirm it. He's trying to clear everything possible yeah, right now. Yeah, the smokes are coming down on A. It looks like... Oh, and you do want to end A. But there is no smoke for CT. They don't have the utility for it. So I don't know if they're going to try to double swing this. Breach can flash through, and there comes a flash. No one is going to check Graffiti, though, and that's going to be a pick. Sova gets one, but he is traded out. Lung Collapser on his second kill for that. Sap yeah. is going to, with the Sheriff, get another. Looking for him, but no secrets. This is what, I've been this is what I was talking about beforehand. We do not want to see these... Gun losses. That's this is gonna be scary. Phoenix on the flank. One person left. I don't think they know. Does he have they time? They don't know. They're looking everywhere, but they find him, and they okay. just barely get off the spike in time. Six rounds on the board for Tiffin University. Okay, so Tiffin, and we're getting straight to the rifles. Yeah, Tiffin does take it, but honestly, they lost a lot of guns. Only taking, I think, a Specter, and I'm not sure what else. I think it might have been a Marshall against rifles. It's, it's gonna be kind of scary. It'll be scary. Now the thing is. And I've seen, I, I can understand both camps here. Do they invest, for the people that did die that round, do they invest in the rifles and leave the uh, bonus material to everyone else? Or do they go ahead and just go for everyone get specters, everyone uh, get your sheriffs? Your answers are already being made. It looks like they are investing into a lot of guns. It is going to be very scary because these, these vandals can be very, like, one shot. <laughs> and, and you've seen them last map being very good for it. I mean, the oh, is gonna, gonna go ahead and pop the ultimate. Not does not connect onto anyone though, and he is aiming the wrong way. There's gonna be a free C. Oh, and you yeah, just takes it, that's... and there is gonna be a real difficult retake on their hands right now. Yeah, now they're playing retake, they bought guns, they're Oh, but there is a trade. No smokes are down. They have spotted out uh -oh. through the wall. A collapser is popping off this how match. Many, how many times am I going to cast a curse this? Because this is getting kind of concerning. I mean, we're sitting on a 4v3 for Tiffany University. Owen you does have util, and they're sitting on a strong post plant position. That choke is very difficult to deal with. 
They need to have the smoke. Omen is still alive to go ahead and provide that space and cover. Zepta no, 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 gets down. one, two, three, two v four. Epitens trades him out, to and Saf finds another two v two. Can he get that other shot there? I don't know, but we've got it half. Someone needs to get it on. They're on the smoke. Zepta gets it. Saf okay. may get the kill, but. That's still going to be a defuse spike. Dude. He goes down, but you take those dubs 100% of the time. We do, but both sides lost a lot of, like, because Tiffin invested, we're not going to need that much money either. But looks like each side is going to scrounge together, and looks like a timeout is being called by Breno. Probably right. talking like what's going on, how to, how to go, what to change. And what, what personally would you like to see either side do differently? I mean, it, it's tough to say. From both sides, they have done a fantastic job. Just one for when you taking the sites and noticing where Tiffin's weaknesses lie. Specifically, that C take. I don't know. I, I was busy looking on the other side of the map, and somehow they noticed that there was just a free C. They went ahead, took it, and just established their spike plant and just took their post plants the issue being secrets dying there really early on just gave a real bottleneck for yeah. onu they didn't have any cover they couldn't choke off the bomb but with uh the tiffin omen still alive he could just go ahead and clutch off the site yeah. put on bomb i'm not aware of how he ended up dying i think it might have been because lung collapser who got the kill on secrets was around ct meaning he might have been peaking uh generator or might have been Mm. somewhere around where the jet died, because their, their jet also gets spammed through, so it's immediately, even though the plant down from a 5v5, Lung Collapser gets two immediately, pushing it to a 5v3, everyone's back sight, so Tiffin can flood through, use their utility, and take it methodically. And that's exactly what they did. They used their util, established it. I think also a couple of those picks were just honestly a little bit lucky, um, whether it was catching someone off guard or just spamming. They knew like where Flames was, were able to pick them off pretty easily here. Yeah. Um, I do see a Phoenix Salt on the side of Owen use. So they could go super aggressive into B or A with this Phoenix Salt to get rid of utility, get, get damage, get potentially even a kill. It looks like they are favoring towards that B, as I was saying earlier. Yeah, B is going to be the grouping here. We do see a lot of KJ utility uh, up being on broken. that site. No, but no, that will be popped, taken off the map. And and that's a good pressure, no matter what. Oh, yeah. I mean, good defense. They are making them re-hit somewhere else, but good pressure where you know that KJ is not able to go ahead and set up camp and get the whole tent, get the sleeping bag, all that stuff. They're going to have a tough time dealing with that now and completely locked down a site. Absolutely. And because they broke that utility, they forced someone having to come over and cover B because they don't have an alarm bot. They don't have anything to cover, cover B. So now it looks like ONU is grouping towards this A hit that only our Zeptic, our Breach, and Lung Collapse, our Jet is holding. Let's oh, see if they can be... get at least a few to make sure we can go into a positive post plant. Inching their way Get up. There is going to be an established connection between Epitens and Lung Collapser here. Jet trying to get off site. Forced to use the smoke, but no. Through. Flames gets the entry onto A. And they are trying to find another with the Phoenix getting a second. That old's good. Run it back, baby. They're going to be pushing onto the site. And this might just be a save for Tiffany University. I personally, as you said before, I would personally like to see a save. Though, uh, Johnson pushing very aggressively into uh, Jeez, that was a sewer. <laughs> Graffiti. It looks like not everyone was ready for the push. It seems like Johnson pushed up to, sh to, to short, and then we pushed out of CT. We pushed out of CT, we didn't check Graffiti, we checked only Hell, got shot from Graffiti, died. Breno, smartly saving his last gun. Not yeah. a bad setup from Tiffin, but that run it back just causing chaos and mayhem. The Omen Blind setup from ONU as well. This will be a 9-7 hat. And that'll put it there. Still, though, I mean, two-round differential is way better than what it was earlier for the side of Tiffin here. Absolutely. And saving, the, like, that side take was just so good. I mean, clinical. Where it, when you pop that runner back, you just, any of your fears just disappear. You're like, I've got a free ticket to paradise, baby. Yes. I'm able to run it down, get onto the site, and that's exactly what they do. Flames gets that opening pick, and then we see Epitems getting another followed up. That 3v5 almost worked out in their favor. Johnson getting the one, but then instantly traded out with that ABC Valorant that we were talking about earlier yes. was just way too good Absolutely. for Owenyu. I'd like to see uh, Lung Collapser most likely because he bought the heavy armor. It's going to go for these jet knives. They're very deadly, but sometimes kind of hard to hit. So he has to get some sort of value, drop some guns. Hopefully the team can retake it. 
and put his team into some advantage. Looks like Breno is pushing up, wants to avoid the drone. The drone does see him. Yep. He's spotted out. Does oh, he... and this is going to be between a rock and a hard place. Breno yeah. is going to be forced against the wall. They'll actually almost gets baited out, and we could have seen the jet with moved. that knife getting it. Oh, but do they check this? They're actually just, what are they darting for? I think they might have believe that Breno know, left. Are they going to check it? They and do. Breno just cannot find the shot. Secrets gets that pick. Three numbers down, but Johnson, <laughs> hey, one. you take your shorty kills where you can, and they're going to the go shorty, ahead. They're going to yeah. rush that A site, but we're seeing a quick rotation yeah, from this Pippen. Jet, these jet knives need to get something and something big. They got to connect with the head here. One claps are getting real close. Looking for one, go. but he cannot find it, and Flames just takes him down. Good one setup from left. Zeptic from that breach dump. Unfortunately, just not able to. And Owen, you takes the round. 10-7. This is going to get dicey because if Tiffin loses this next round, it's going to be 12 because they're going to be pushed onto another save. Yeah, this is where the rubber really hits the road here. And I mean, we saw an 11 13 last map. That is as close as you can get without going to overtime. Absolutely. So it's I'm scared because you see a lot of ults on the side of ONU. You see the Kidri ult. We do not have the Sub ult to break it. We don't, we, we're nearing a breach ult, but. KJ, Jet, Omen for information. Like, Owen, you have so many good ultimates that can use in these next few rounds to try to clinch it. And that might be the difference breaker. But there is some uh, sitting real close to their ready point um, on the side of Tiffin. So if they just get a couple ult orbs, there it is. around. Breach got the ult orb, so he, got his, he has ult. So he has a very powerful ult for retaking a site. But all honesty, like, Owen, you looks like they're changing their their strategy. They're going a lot slower. Again, they, they seem to be a very methodical team, taking space, wanting someone to overpeak. And there is oh, that's man. Da that that's damage. That's damage onto the side of Tiffin's Omen. And I mean, it's it's chip damage for sure. They found where at least he was sitting. He can go ahead and rotate pretty quickly. But do they go ahead and decide to commit here? Johnson looking for it, and that's he wins his fight. ones. That's you a huge it. fight win because all the KG, all the utility goes down on the side of uh, Owen U. So people can start flinging sand start going around. Oh, but what is the call here? What are they trying to read? I don't Tiffin know. Tiffin thought it was going to be a fake. Yeah, and I don't it? like this. Oh no. Oh, and you set up for a perfect fake play. They threw the smoke, trying to bait, oh, bait Tiffin in. Tiffin looks like they're starting to realize it, but it may just be too late because Owen Yu is starting to execute onto that C site. Oh, and they know exactly and what's happening here. But is he going to be able to connect? Johnson looking for one. Flames cannot find on the jet. Low. And they Flames need to be low. focused on this retake instead. Flames sitting real low, though. The Let's they gotta go. go fast. Go. They, they have to go fast. Tiffin is going to go as fast as possible. Trades There's going to be one dark. Gets one. Lung collapse gets the second. 2v4. Tiffin University looking for this retake. That was a good breach ult, but can they do it? This Phoenix has been pivotal. Gets one. Trade happens. Kyle gets another 2v1. And, and they're just going to stick the spike. Defenders take it. And no we are now to a 10-8. And that was the breaking point that Tiffin needed to find right there. And they're going to be still in this game. They're still in the game, but they lost a lot of guns. I think they're going to... Like I'm not sure what the money is. Like, I keep bringing up finance but you really need to monitor and you need to figure out can we buy can we force is it should we save because saving one round set you up for the next like you see oh. so many, yeah well, I when see. it's this late in the game you win a round you have to buy the next no matter what it is if it's going to be if you can only afford a specter i feel like you have to force it because there is no way you can lose your momentum and just give it uh, yeah, up yeah at some point but you see like i said before like i saw so i saw two light armor i saw only one heavy i saw two no armor Oh man, and KJ is starting to feel himself. He actually went for an opening pick right in mid there, but that's not going to find anything. There is going to be a spot from the turret. They do know that I at least. I love this Silver there. Dart. They use Silver Dart. Oh, and you, yeah, yeah, they use the Silver Dart immediately for Shock Darts to break all the utility. All of the KJ utility is down now on the side of Tiffin. Everything is. They and that's just going to be there looking for the intel. Though I love this. I love, I love this John Johnson pushing up. I don't want to go too far because he could have a good timing onto the team. Oh, and where does Owen you elect to go? We do see the pings oh, wait, wait, going wait, out the towards Lombard. A. The, if the alarm goes down, Johnson will push that. There it is. The alarm is down. I, just as I said it. He, yep. That turret needs to, needs to be done. There it is. The turret oh. stop, spots it. Does push it. And there's going to be the push from ONU onto the A site. Smokes go down. Site should be taken here. Yep. But that is going to be actually an elected. A very early breach stun. That's a very pivotal piece of utility to retake a site. You should run. Oh, but that is going to be ONU. There's the attack of Killjoy. Kill That's Joy very scary. Well. That takes so much space. And that is going to force Tiffin back. One class needs to go. He's, he's going to get detained. He, he doesn't get out in time. 
Yeah, he's going to get detained. But if he does get detained, that honestly might be a bit of a bait here. If they decide to push it, they can just get the trade. It's not anything too Sovolt comes out, yep. Sovolt comes out to break the other side of the Tiffin, Tiffin University, so... Secrets gets the first kill, Secrets gets another, Flames is oh! one. Trades are not inside the Tiffin University. And there's gonna be 2v4 with just smoke swings and no connections. Trades come out and ONU gets their 11th round on the board. That was just perfect util trading from the side of Ohio Northern. Yeah, absolutely. And this is where, like, now you say, like, you lose the round, do you buy? Tiffin, if you buy this round, they're going to be broke for the next, and they need to win this next round. If they lose this round, it's literally got to be perfect from here. Oh, yeah. Which, I mean, they... You can see they need they need four rounds. They have consistently won three rounds in a row. They're gonna have to be one round better than they have for this almost whole set so far. And it is just gonna be very close to call here. I see some very early mid aggression outside of Tiffin University. Oh, and they're just gonna be going straight in. Secrets, Secrets finds one, finds looking one. for the lurk. But Tiffin just recognizes that they're gonna be mobilizing real quickly here. Four members down, and they could actually connect onto Saf. Here, Saf is gonna go and spot him out. Can he get traded? There's two nope, nope. and a third. No! Zeptic gets the trade. Gets the trade but Gun is taken. Yeah, we say trade, but that's in the side of Tiffin University. Uh, not in the side of Tiffin University, it's in Ohio Northern. Because now Ohio Northern has Oh, Tiffin this is spawn. gonna be a slaughter. That Silva's just sitting behind them, and he knows exactly where they are, wants to wait yeah, to line everyone them up. Everyone is just so, like, yeah, everyone's confined. Just... It's so dangerous. And the pincer comes out, but Zeptic finds one. There's going to be a 3v2, but they still have not identified where that Sova is. Trying to force them out. All they need to do is wait for the bomb. Pings do come out, chip down to 50, and that will be a yeah. just absolute crunch. All right, Tiffany University, you have to be perfect from here. Yeah, there is no mistakes that can be made for the Dragons now. ONU just looking way too consistent, way too methodical throughout this whole set, and they have just been yeah. way too good to mess with. 21 kills on the side of I mean, we're seeing we're seeing th three twenties, and th yeah. that's just insane drops. And even if the Phoenix that was popping off last map, just crazy, his presence hasn't been entirely known. But you see three members stepping up for the side of the yeah. Ohio Northern, I, and it I is just. I see a lot of good ults on the side of the University yeah, about yeah. to come up, so they need to go for ult orbs. Oh. But Ohio Northern has so many ults. The pace is quick from they these dragons. Stick. They sick the ult in heaven from the omen. This is going to be very pivotal fight. Oh, secrets! What Everyone's are you doing? Aware. You're sitting up there. Everyone, they know they're, they're something's aware. happening. Something's up. There Can they find them? Johnson gets the one, and there's going to be a four v five. They're trying to take the site. All sitting outside right now, kind of grouped up. But no, there's going to be a just a re hit. Yeah, they do not want to mess with that. But this is smart. They leave flames into a backstabbing position. They could. He's going to go for a late, like a very late push. Uh, Staff here too. Gets killed. They've read the C hit. Looks like they can't contest very early. Flames needs to start moving very quick. Like he needs to start going now to capitalize on his unknown position. He really, yet yeah, he starts going through our spawn. But I think the timing is over. To be yeah, frank, the jig might be up. He might get one. Should get traded out. So I like this crossfire into the enemy spawn. I don't want to see us push. I want to see us more play slow, play our play our angles. This is gonna be dangerous. Yep, the flames will one. find one, maybe even two here. Get spotted out. But no, he will get okay, traded. traded. One collapser finds him. They're gonna go for a quick side take. Phoenix Run it back. He's gonna go live. And they're gonna look for him. Breno does get one, gets Spun another. And, and gets that traded. is just a camped body right there. So, a little scary in the side of Tiffany University, but the dude clench out on the end. Alright. We're seeing it. We gotta see that that four rounds in a row. We got one. But can Tiffany University find those extra three? They need to be on the dime here. And they actually forced two two ultimates out on the side of Ohio Northern. Like and, you saw the you saw the Omnal get popped super early, probably being a little bit too aggressive, keeping up in Devon. Tiffany University very aware, punishing that. You saw the Phoenix ult get popped late. You saw alts like now you see alts favoring the side of Tiffany University. Yeah, they this do silver drone is going to be very big. He's going to scan the kitchen. No, oh, no, but it doesn't him. have enough timing to reach him. And Johnson isn't a he's, pretty he's good for spot. one. Like he needs to be at least good for one here. If he gets traded, he needs to be good for lose like one. Oh, and they're going to be spamming this down. I don't want you. I don't want him for anything. Trying to find it, but no connections. Johnson for one. does get the get one. Out, get out, get out, get out, get out, run. 
No, but, yeah, that's my point. It's a one and done angle. But that one was big. You lose your omen, you don't have any way to go ahead and cut off sight. They have jet smoke, yeah. so it's not too bad, but like, you're not wrong, but I honestly think Kyoto is a little bit more important. Can they find it? There's gonna be one. One collapse Traded. is two. Three. Tiffany University, two. I don't know how, but we lost someone in the end. There is gonna be a breach ult available here, but it's gonna be important. And that is gonna be so ult just not used very quickly. So not even before the bomb was going down, and they're actually okay, gonna go they, for it. They do get the plant, so they have to scale quickly. They know where these people are. Oh, and they need to get back. A sap. Oh, uh, this is dangerous. They used already both the ultimates on the side of Tiffin. And there's Someone starts no utility. Starts Either they gotta go or they just Huge. Have to something. One down. Oh. Septic does no. find it, but Epitens just comes up, and that is gonna be 13 rounds for ONU, and they will knock Tiffin University out of the running for this. Absolutely, and that's what I was saying before. Like the angle that Johnson was thinking was okay. Like he gets his one, he gets, he, but he doesn't get out. He's mm -hmm. not playing that character. He's not playing the chamber, the uh, jet before. So he can't dash out, TP out. He's playing Killjoy. He's yeah. kind of locked down. He go for one. He got his one, but he died. Yeah, there is not not a whole lot of safety in their composition. If they played it where, it, if they just honestly played more safely, and it, that's to Kennedy's play style, it is more him. But just playing something that just isn't as safe like that just makes it way more difficult. And on that fact too, I I don't know if it was necessarily the reads or just the trades. It was I feel like a combination of everything where ONU was just very strong in that fact. Um, but it was just, I think the method, the method and the um, just running the basics yes. is what ended up winning them the game. We can see why Ohio Northern was back-to-back -back champions. Like, mm -hmm. we can see why they're super strong. They show a great showing on Haven. They show that they can literally go into a map having being down 4-0 on Breeze, taking it back. Yeah, their mental is just, you cannot break it. No. <laughs> I mean, from the past, this year and the last, just watching them play, they have the, one of the strongest mentals. They'll be down and consistently lose rounds, but then they take one back, yeah. and then the train just starts rolling. It is the Ohio Northern just plow coming through. Absolutely. And even if it runs out of gas a little bit, you better believe that they're going to come back on through. Absolutely. And anyway, we, we thank you guys for joining us. We'll give you a the break, and we'll be right back. Yep. We'll see you guys soon.